so welcome and welcome back to my channel guys for today's video I will show you how to clean the pilot burner of the auxiliary boiler so as for always guys during maintenance of a certain machinery we make a lockout and sag out as per SMS procedure so in this case guys I secure the boiler by emergency stop and posted a safety tag so from the boiler side we have to secure the atomizing steam valve and the fuel valve and the inlet and outlet of the flumeter this is the outlet of the flumeter and this valve is the inlet so we have to close all involved valves and now we have to remove the ignition transformer electrodes this is the connection guys electrical connection you have to secure the ignition cap electrode cap and this is the gas oil connection you have to remove and then the locking bolt of the pilot burner assembly you have to loose so that we can draw out the pilot burner and now we have to draw out slowly the pilot burner assembly as you can see guys I draw out together with the assembly of the pilot burner just to protect the pilot burner itself now we have to detach the pilot burner from its casing we have to slowly pull out the pilot burner guys not to damage the electrode so here it comes now as you can see guys there is a carbon accumulation from the electrode and from the nozzle as you can see guys in this case I'm using an electrical cleaner or a contact cleaner for cleaning of this electrode and the nozzle for the nozzle guys you can use also any penetrating oil or gas oil for cleaning it but for the electrode uh, I would recommend to use a contact cleaner as you can see guys from the nozzle there is a filter inside so it's very important to clean the filter by compressed air as you can see guys we have to clean this we must ensure that this filter is free from any obstructions and now we have to detach the filter from the nozzle and we have to check the inside part of the nozzle the orifice you have to blow by air and we have to check the tightness of an atomizer so for cleaning guys we use compressed air and a gas oil or any penetrating oil for cleaning the nozzle or the filter now we have to assemble back the nozzle and the filter and the electrode we will clean all the parts must be free from any dirt and any carbon deposits and carbon accumulation so the pilot burner assembly itself we have to blow by air and we make sure that this is free now the electrode part guys I only clean my cloth I didn't use any abrasive or hemery paper not to damage the texture of the electrode once it is damaged or the texture has been rough it will attract the carbon deposits so the more carbon accumulation or carbon deposits of the electrode the less efficient the pilot burner will work so this is my way of cleaning guys i didn't use any abrasive paper to clean the electrode i just use a contact cleaner and a piece of cloth to clean the electrode 
and now guys we have to tight firmly the nozzle and from the other side you have to blow by air so we can confirm the passage of air or the pressure of the pilot burner as you can see guys all connections has been sealed by teflon tape now we will install back the pilot burner assembly and in this case guys we don't have an tester so we have to assemble it back to the boiler and we can test now we will lock the locking bolt now we have to connect the uh, ignition transformer electrode and the gas oil connection so it's my way of practice guys that every time I clean the pilot burner assembly I also clean the flame scanner of the pilot burner and the main burner as you can see guys how I clean and inspect the flame scanner so in this side and the other side is the main flame scanner so this is the flame scanner or the flame eye guys just clean by clean cloth then assemble it back firmly this time guys we will test the boiler so we have to open all the valves what we have closed so this is the atomizing steam open slowly and this is the inlet of the flumeter and open also the outlet of the flumeter so this is the outlet valve now it's open and this is the ball valve of the atomizing steam and the fuel so guys this time we already depressed the emergency stop and this is ready for starting as you can see guys this is the control panel of the boiler this is the local control so for starting guys just press the local mode control and the auto start so we have to start the boiler guys just to confirm if our work is effective so at the moment the boiler is in purging mode is in sequence for firing so from this panel guys you can see the sequence of the boiler the firing sequence and the stopping sequence guys as you can see there is the force draft fan the fuel oil pumps the ignition pump the indication of the atomizing steam so we will wait guys for the firing position as you can see the atomizing steam is already ready this yellow line and the red line is the fuel line it is now on recirculation mode once it is in ignition the positioner valve will open to the burner so now guys the boiler is on completion of the pre-purging and the airflow is now to minimum and ready for firing as you can see guys the ignition pump is now running and now the boiler is ready for firing and until here guys i hope you learned something about this video guys please don't forget to hit the like share and subscribe this is jb23 vlog bye